When his song Countryfied was picked up by George Hamilton IV as the theme for his U.S. television series, Dick Dameron's career as a touring country music artist really started to take off. And it was a theme song for the TV show also when it was re released in London, England. So when I toured over there, I toured just as a, a songwriter. I was the writer of this number one record for George Hamilton IV. The change in his fortunes followed a change in his image. He traded in the clean-cut look of his early days for an edgy outlaw persona. With my Waylon Jennings t-shirt, Willie Nelson haircut, Chris's lyrics running through my brain. With everything going for him, including a contract with RCA, Dameron was a very busy guy. From about 76 to about uh, 89, I did anywhere from 30 to 40 one-nighters every year in England, Scotland, Wales, Holland, Belgium, Germany. Those tours covered a wide spectrum of venues. We played everything from small bars to huge festivals. We played the Wembley Festival, in, which was the largest country music festival in the world at the time. My faded old t-shirt says 78, sometimes I remember it well. Marty Robbins, Carl Perkins, John Hartford and I had our songs and our stories to tell. Some of the stories pack a pretty strong punch. As you know, we used to play places we called the Paradise, Paradise Knife and Gun Clubs, where they checked everybody at the door to see if you had a knife or gun, and if you didn't have one, they'd give you one for self-defense. After a constant round of international touring, Dameron got a steady gig in the States. From 85 to uh, 94, we played uh, Las Vegas. I played two months of the year at the Desert Inn in Las Vegas and spent my winters in Mexico and springtime recording in Nashville and then back to Las Vegas. Those were heady times and the pace was hectic. In the old days, for many years with RCA, I had a contract for one album and three singles a year and the singles were what kept you on the radio, the 45s that went to the radio stations and the jukeboxes and that type of thing. And you were always shooting to try to have a top 10 or a number one record. Jesus, it's me again. I'm on my knees again. Asking you please again. Reach out your hand. For Dameron, success on the charts was accompanied by dependence on alcohol and drugs. Some of his personal struggles are reflected in recordings, both secular and sacred. Lately, Lord, I almost feel like dying. I wake up like a child. Alone at night. The gospel song, Jesus, It's Me Again, has become really important because so many people have uh, related to it. Jesus, it's me again. Jesus, it's me. Down on my knees again. Begging you please again. Reach out your hand. I have two gospel albums out, uh, Wings Upon the Wind, which the Jesus It's Me Again song is on. I have one called Touch the Sky, which strangely enough has a song on it that was called uh, Highway to Heaven. And because it has a line in it, I've been all the way from hell to Turkey, Texas, it got pulled out of the gospel album and became a, a mainstream uh, country song. In, in Texas. I've been all the way from hell to Turkey, Texas Through the darkness and the naked light of day Despite the turmoil of a life on the road, Dameron is grateful for the opportunities he's had. Uh, well, my most successful songs, uh, they're always kind of favorites because you know what they've done to you. They lift you from uh, being the local bar band to uh, being a recording artist and doing television shows and playing concerts to thousands of people. Ain't it strange how long it takes to find the courage? That's the Lord, he 
He won't set me free. Ask the Lord, He won't set me free. Patricia Smith, Shaw TV, Bentley.